Hello everyone, it's Terry and Evan in the Great Herbal Outdoors today. You might see that we're lying down. We're, we're up in the apple orchard lying in a big bed of violets. Um, I have to try to convince the people that help me mow not to mow these down every spring until I have a chance to harvest some from them. So we'd love to tell you more about this small but mighty plant. Bear with us, we'll be right back. One of the first qualities we want to tell you about violets is that they are considered a lymph tonic. So what we know about lymph is it's a fluid in our body that does not have a pump to move it. However, we need the lymph moving because it's what helps relieve our um, edema. It removes toxins, viral pathogens, bacteria from our body. So being that we don't have a pump to do that, like the heart has a pump the heart is a pump to move blood. We need some way to move the lymph to keep ourselves healthy. We know that um, physical activity and movement is one way by moving our muscles. Can, can you think of a couple examples that might help? Hmm? Running. Running would help for sure. Anything else? Um, how about jumping? Jumping's a great one. The other day you were jumping on one of my favorite tools. What was that? mini trampoline. Yeah, Evan was using our mini trampoline and a lot of people use those specifically to help move the lymph in their body. Well, we can supplement that movement by using herbs that will move the lymph also, that will help move that around the body. And violets are one of them. Um, most likely, you'll get the biggest bang for your buck out of the leaves because they're quite a lot larger than the flowers, but the flowers work too. They have a very moistening, cooling quality, so it's a, there's a little bit of mucilage in there, but the overall effect is to moisten and cool the body. So not only will it help move lymph, it also will moisten and cool any kind of skin issues that you have. Like if you had eczema or really rough, rich, uh, itchy, dry skin, violets can help that way. And they can be used internally and externally as well. So you might make a tincture, or a tea infusion, or um, sometimes you can even use them in an infused oil and use that on some really dry, rough, patchy skin. So that's one of the first ways that we know that violet would benefit us. Secondly, throughout history, from folklore, we hear that this has been used very commonly to dissolve cysts or lumps. Um, and I'm thinking now like a baker's cyst or a ganglion cyst or something like that. But it's interesting to note that in very recent history, I mean really right now as we're speaking, there's a lot of investigation going on with the violet plant to see if it doesn't benefit certain kinds of cancer. And traditionally they use it for a throat or mouth kinds of cancers, tongue cancers. Um, that's historical folklore use. I'm not suggesting that you do that and only that if you have a, an issue with cancer. Of course, you should see cancer specialists and, and do all that they suggest also. But it also has been known to be very soothing because of that debulsant mucilage. So it can be uh, easily treating a cough or a sore throat. And in that same regard, it might be very helpful treating some of the side effects of chemotherapy. I think if we taste this, we're going to see that it has a little bit of a slipperiness. What do you think? Is it a strong flavor? What does it seem like to you? It just tastes like green. It tastes like what? Green. <laughs> tastes like green, like anything that has chlorophyll in it without much of a strong flavor. You get that little slippery quality in your mouth, just a little bit. And that's that soothing, moistening, demulsant that will help with any coughs or things like that. Any mucous membrane issues this could be used for. So any part, once you get it in your mouth, down your throat, through your esophagus, intestines, and so on, it will treat that. Our third use for violet involves clearing heat and addressing infections. So it has some anti-inflammatory properties. And it, again, it's all part of that moistening and cooling. As I said, everywhere down your throat, into your intestines, through the gut, it will calm and cool all of that. So if you happen to have some trouble with ulcers or IBS, colitis, 
this might be something to try and you can take it as a tea or even a strong tea um, just use some dried leaves brew them up like you normally would do a tea maybe a little more plant material than than some teas you might take and let it steep for a while and then drink that several times throughout the day it doesn't have a lot of flavor so if you want more flavor add some mint or a lemon flavored herb or something that you enjoy to give it some some more taste uh, the other thing about this is that we believe energetically that violet leaves and violet flowers can treat emotional heat so things like anger and frustration might be a little bit um, milder a little calmer if you would have yourself a cup of violet leaf tea it's a nice way to think of it it's just this tiny little leaf and this flower and what did you say about small things the other day small things can have really big powers we used to say small gifts come uh, wonderful gifts come in small packages or big gifts come in small packages small things can have really big powers this plant is often overlooked by a lot of herbalists but we know it has great powers finally we'd love to tell you one more way that violets might be useful to you and that is as a relaxing nervine when we talk about nervines we're usually talking about the nervous system and the head and and gut connection so anything where you would be feeling tension in the head um, whether it be a headache or um, just overthinking or grief or frustration anger things like that and as we were revisiting what we wanted to talk about today Evan asked me a very interesting question do you remember what you said um does the color purple have to do anything with healing powers or something so he wondered about the color of the violet flower and we sat down and talked about it and looked through some of our resources to try to refresh our memories and certainly we came to the chakra system and knowing that which chakra is associated with purple the crown chakra the crown chakra the head is associated with the color purple and lo looking at that we think it makes perfect sense that violets would be used for relieving head tension, relieving um, headaches, neck tension, and any kinds of emotions that are disturbing, especially overthinking kinds of things like that. So that was really a, a nice connection that he came up with that I hadn't thought of originally. Right now we'd like to take you to our best patch in the yard. We're sitting in a pretty nice one now, but we've got some that are much larger than this. We'll be right back. Right, here we are at a patch behind the garage. It's in the shade all day. And you can see the leaves are heart-shaped. The flowers of these are purple, but they also come in yellow and white. We're right behind the dog kennel, in fact. Um, and what you need to know is that, well, Evan's cutting them and putting them in a basket. When I take them inside, I will filter through them and see if there's any grass pieces and stuff like that. But. This can be your mindfulness activity for the day. I usually sit down and start cutting and just, you know, a piece at a time into my basket. It's very relaxing and calming. And right now there's nothing more important to do. So you would take these leaves inside, dry them as we've talked about with other plants, use the leaves and stems with them for your infusion. If you're going to drink it as a tea, or you could make a tincture and use it that way. Or you can slightly wilt the leaves for a day or so and then put them in an olive oil or some other kind of oil base that you like on your skin and make an infused oil, which could be used later for either an oil topically or added beeswax to it <laughs> to make it into a salve. He's kind of being a butcher here <laughs> on these violet plants but that's the way it's done i'm a little more gentle he gets it done faster
This is Terry and Evan saying goodbye. Get outside and enjoy the great herbal outdoors. <laughs>